Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I'd like to share with you some helpful tips and tricks for storing your diamond paintings for the long term. Uh, welcome to my channel if this is your first time and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate it. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, ring the bell to be notified when I make new videos and hit the like if you like it at the end. So let's talk about diamond art. Um, diamond painting is a wonderful hobby and a lot of you know this, but a lot of people ask me, how are you going to, like, what are you going to do with all of it? What's the point? Why am I doing so many diamond paintings? What am I going to do with it? Well, first of all, I think that diamond art is a therapy of sorts. And I use this to help with depression, anxiety, uh, PTSD. A lot of people have different reasons for diamond painting. And sometimes you don't want to always work on a big project because it feels overwhelming. So in my particular case, I've gotten a lot of smaller projects that have taken less time, but are very satisfying to do, especially ones like this, where it's a special diamond and it's only part of the canvas that's being covered, not the entire thing like this one or this one. And so what I like to do with these is I like to put them into an artist portfolio. Now I was, I was actually contacted by the company Art Dot to show you something that they have available on their website that you can get right now to store your diamond paintings and they have different sizes available. Here is Art Dot's diamond painting art storage album. This is in the A2 size and it is available like I said on their website artdot.com. They have three different sizes available. They have an A3 size, which is 16 by 12 inches. They have this, the A2 size, which is 22 by 16.4 inches. And then they have an A1 size, which is 34 by 25.8 inches. Now, depending on your needs, depending on which diamond paintings you like to get and what size you like to get, uh, I would just pick accordingly. This is a very cool portfolio. It's a little bit different than an artist portfolio. First of all, it does have a very sturdy handle. This handle has a an adjustable kind of pop out feature where it can pop in and pop out depending on what you need it to do. If you want to carry this to a friend's house or let's say, for example, you want to carry it to a um, an event that you're going to, let's say you're going to a diamond painting retreat or something like that. Uh, you could put your unfinished diamond paintings in here and bring it with you, or you can bring your finished ones and carry it with the handle. Then it has this Velcro closure. Uh, one thing about this closure, I would be very careful with this and make sure that you grab on to the little sticker of Velcro here, and then you can open it up. Are you ready to see what it looks like inside? it is. Oh, there we go. So inside we have pages of plastic essentially. And on each of these pages, there is a little pocket in the back. We're going to go ahead and put some of these diamond paintings in. I'll just start with a small one and work my way up. I want to make sure that it is diamond side out so that if you open this, you can see diamond paintings from the outside. And we can do that for each and every page. Alrighty, so I've gotten a couple of my diamond paintings to show you how this works. So you can pop them in the portfolio any way you like. You just need to make sure that you get the right size, like I said. So I have some there. I've cut the borders off some where I've left them on and they do fit. So this painting itself is a 44 by 32 centimeter on the inside, but the outside is about a 40 by 50. We're gonna see how big we can get these. This one's a 40 by 50, fully with the border and all of the outer edges. This one is also 40 by 50. This is a diamond dots. These are much smaller, as you can see, uh, and I believe with this one, this one actually has some, this one, 
Oh, no, it's this one. Sorry, it's the diamond dots. This has little glue dots in the corners left over from being on the wall, and it works really, really well to keep them in place. So I'd highly recommend getting a few glue dots or some kind of adhesive uh, dot, removable dot, that will work to keep them in place inside the portfolio as well, just so that they're not sliding all around all over the place. We've got a couple more that I've had on my walls for a while. I just wanted to show you what it looks like inside the portfolio. Here's a square one. Again, this is 40 by 40. Got a couple of small ones here. This is what happens when you don't put adhesive down on it. Unfortunately, it has the ability to slide all over the place like this, but it's easy to fix. You just pop it back in there, just like that. But this one, this one is a bit bigger. This is a 42 by 53. So we're gonna see if this works. And I left this edge to show you how it looks when, you, when you're cutting off the border and how to get that really nice edge. So I like to take it where the border is on the opposite side of where I'm cutting. Please excuse Luna, she's just very excited. And we're just gonna cut along the side of the diamonds. Don't be afraid to make this cut. It will not hurt the diamond painting at all. I get asked quite a lot, do I seal my diamond paintings? Sometimes I do when I need, when I feel like I need to, which is when diamonds are popping off or moving around a lot. But in general, um, I do not use a sealant. Now that that is off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over in the direction of the portfolio, like so. Oh, I have one of these. These are what I use on my walls because I rent. <laughs> I don't want to be putting holes in walls. Let's see if we can get this diamond painting that is slightly over a 40 by 30, 40 by 50 centimeter into this. Oh, that's the wrong sleeve. Let's get another sleeve. Into this sleeve. Oh, just barely. So unfortunately, it will not fit completely. So I, if you wanted to put this particular painting, anything that's bigger than 40 by 50, you would have to trim it down on the side to get it to fit in your portfolio. And I am not gonna be willing to do that because she's just too beautiful. And I love putting her on my wall. So I'm just gonna keep her out of this portfolio. And if I wanted to, I would get an A1 sized portfolio where she will fit comfortably. But again, this is an incredible tool to use to house your finished diamond paintings. I think that it's very cost effective as well to have a diamond art storage book that you can put these in and they'll be safe from any dog, pet fur, cat fur, any any ferret fur, um, any kind of dust or dander at all. And you can stick this in your closet or you can proudly display it on your coffee table. Let me know your thoughts down below. You can find this, again, I'll have the links to everything in the description box. Um, thank you so much, Art Dot, for sending this to me to review and check out for everybody. I appreciate it very much. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!